All right, it's a moment of truth. Time to peel this stuff up, see if it actually worked. Still having issues with the airbrush. I need more practice, obviously. I clean it all the time. I still don't know why it was spitting. Everything's clean. So that's a different story on how not to airbrush. But let's pop some of these up. And... I think it's going to be okay. Granted, the paint's a little bit thick on them. Not like I said, I have an old Badger airbrush that I normally use. One of the um, single action Badgers that seems like everybody buys from the hobby shop for like 50 bucks. That you require the air compressor and all that kind of stuff. But Trying new stuff, learning new things. So, yep, they look pretty good. There's where I messed up. I'm going to have to touch that up. I might even leave that. Just stain a little bit. But when the um, ballast goes in, you won't see that um, stain on the side. Oh, that's something to hide it with here. Kind of hard to see it, but yeah, you'll just see the tie itself. Single tie is the goal. So the entrance to Salt River Valley Yard is now done, and I'm just having a blast playing with tape. So, yes, I melted some plastic to make that kind of stuff. Come down to the other end. More melted plastic stuff. But let's see how this turned out down here. Looks pretty good. Might have been just quicker to go in with the paintbrush and do this. But we learn, live and learn. And that's how. We have fun in the hobby. We're getting the parts that I'm not good at. I am not an artist. I don't claim to be an artist. There's a couple things that I will not do. I will not do body work on a car. I will not paint a car. Same thing here. I'm not an artist. I'm kind of getting a little bit worried about doing ballast. It's not my thing. It's not anything that I know about. I don't understand the concept of colors. Same thing with music. I love listening to music, but ask me to play an instrument or anything like that. It's not my thing. On the other hand, 3D animation, 3D, I can work in 3D space, I can visualize something in 3D space and design it in a couple minutes. So, not an artist, but I do have different skills that come in handy. And let's take the last ones off. I'm still going to come in and probably, I don't know what I want to paint those by hand. I might paint those by hand. Or should I leave them? I haven't decided yet. But what we're looking at, this is Salt River Valley Yard. This is where the um, staging yard basically is what it is. So these are the clearance points. If I put a red tie, the first tie is red, that just indicates stop. Um, I've seen on the real railroad where they do have red ties. I assume that's what they're for. They also have a lot of white ties for clearance points and yellow ties and blue and all different colors. What I've determined is anything that leads on to the main in my world for the Gila Springs Mesquite requires a white clearance point tie to keep the main clear. Anything on the main you don't need to indicate that clearance point, our clearance point, whatever that space. So here, this little spur here, 
need to make sure you have a clearance point to keep cars from blocking the main. Same thing here with this um, track right here. This is a team track. Same thing. Keep things off the main for the station. This is a little LC, LCL track. Same thing. Main is clear. Clear. The only issue that I'm looking at is I have not decided on is if I'm going to put a white tie or something at a block. So, for an example, this is Salt River, um, the Salt River Valley yard block, basically. Whether I'm going to put a tie that divides this block to this block, it's not a clearance point, but it divides the two blocks. So you'd have Farscape block this side, Salt River Valley block this side. So if I put a white tie in this location, and I'll have my little sign and my little um, signal head right here saying it's entering a block, exiting a block, that kind of stuff, whether I want to have the white tie or not. I have not decided yet. I think I might do that. And... Um, just for um, helping crews out and everything to know that there's something different going on from here to here even though the white indicates clearance points so I could be totally wrong on this this is what I'm doing this is what I've seen this is what I'm copying so for now back to the program and for my members and patreon fans I have new stay frosty magnets and the classic decal so hit me up on those if I owe you one, make sure you get a hold of me so I can get your Stay Frosty magnet and your decal sent. Or actually sticker, I should say. Now to continue with the story of that video and that video, click on those to see what's going on. And as always, stay frosty, my friends.